Hello, it is Saturday, April 25th, and I wanted to come on here and do a video response to a comment that I got um, on Facebook, um, on my personal Facebook, so I'm not going to share this person's name, and actually I am not friends with this person. Uh, this actually came on a thread that um, resulted from me commenting on my local uh, public health departments, the county I'm located in. Uh, their post about um, basically giving recommendations as people a part of the community to how they believe um, how, how we believe we should proceed forward or give feedback on what we think we can do as a public so I was very happy to um, ask them to um, consider opening businesses up and allowing businesses the and people to the chance to prove they can protect public health while staying open and i actually got a really nice reply from the county um, public health department um, linking to a survey where i got to share uh, my comments which i thought was um, really nice um, i was honestly a little bit skeptical i'm not gonna lie <laughs> that um, me giving my name and a, a way to contact me and um, some uh, like which city I'm in in the county and my general occupation. I didn't give too many specific de details so they could like find me or whatever, but find me, not find me. But um, I did it anyway because I feel like for me at this point, having my voice be heard by them um, is more important than keeping myself completely anonymous. I think having a name and a face to what my comments are and saying it in a way that was um, productive and um, respectful, but still kind of stern and, and getting my point across. I thought that was a really good way to go about it. But what resulted from that was um, me thanking them and they said, be well, thank you. And someone on here um, was chiming in and luckily they were, they were being pretty respectful, but I could tell they had a very strong opinion about this. And so um, I thought I would um, share my thoughts on it in a video form because I feel like that is the best way to communicate my feelings towards two people or my um, thoughts to people, especially on heated comments and heated um, discussions. So I'll read um, the thread here a little bit, but um, basically their first comment to me was, businesses need to start demanding that nobody come into their business without a mask on. Do you want to open back up and make us feel comfortable as customers start there? Okay, whatever that means. Um, I, I don't know if it meant to be a question or like a comment, or I think it's kind of one of those heated moment kind of <laughs> comments. But um, my comment back was, um, this supports my argument to let businesses and people decide what to do. If you as a business decide to restrict access to only mask wearing people, then you risk people who don't want to wear one going somewhere else. If you don't require a mask, then the people who want everyone to wear a mask may go elsewhere. I agree businesses need to do what is best for the customer now and always. Um, there is a risk in staying closed, risk in opening with restrictions, and risk in opening without restrictions. <laughs> Let the people decide. That's my view. Thank you, Sandy. Oh, oops, I shouldn't have said her name, but I won't say her last name, um, for letting your voice be heard. Someone agreed with me, um, and someone also chimed in and said, hopefully when we open people don't forget all we've been through and go crazy and we have a surge in cases again open things up and not have a major get togethers tons of people crowded in businesses and whatnot um and then someone else commented something blah, blah blah but here's the comment i really wanted to respond to and it was the same person from before and they said also i have a long memory in businesses that don't care enough about their employees or their customers who are wearing masks to make everyone wear masks will not get my business now or in the future the stress and anxiety that the selfish people who don't want to put a mask on for the rest of us who are wearing masks is unbelievable. If I wear a mask, it's protecting you. It's protecting you. You're wearing a mask to protect me. If you're not wearing a mask, you're saying that my family's life is not worth you putting a mask on because that's what it's come down to when you have older parents. So uh, this, met, this comment clearly has a lot of emotion involved and it's involving family and involving loved ones. And so that's why I wanted to do a video message. So let me go into some of the things I wrote down to make sure I, I cover the things I want to do. So first, um, I don't think it is so black and white. I don't think 
not someone not wearing a mask means that they want your family they don't care about your family or they want people to die and i don't and i don't think wearing a mask means that you are the most empathetic most um loving caring person in the world i don't think it's like that i think you can be on either end and still care about people's health and well-being and care about people's families and loved ones i'm going to explain so here's what i think if you're not going to wear a mask you must uh, if you're if you're a business that is not going to require people to wear a mask, the least you can do is now that we have supplies ready, pretty much, um, have hand sanitizer or whatever you need to do to sanitize hands at the front of your store before people enter. If you don't wear a mask, you must sanitize before you walk in. That's that's one. Um, and so if you're wearing a mask, then you walk in, basically. But here's the thing. Uh, I wanted to kind of share how both can work in in the guidelines that are given by health officials. But I wanted to say one thing first. I think it's dangerous to paint um, non-mask wearing people as people that want others to die. Because this is literally what happened in the past month. About a month and a half ago, and this person, maybe they have always been a mask person, I don't know. But um, about a month ago, people who were wearing masks were being ridiculed and, be, and be, being called fear, fear mongers and being told by health officials that it's not necessary, that they're making the problem worse. And now people who aren't wearing masks are being ridiculed by those same people for not wearing masks, even though a month ago they were being ridiculed for wearing them. So that's where I have the problem is we need some consistency here. For, per, personally, I think from the beginning, the mask program would have been amazing. But now I think it's almost, I don't wanna say it's too late, but it's kind of like, okay, where was this recommendation a month ago? What, what changed a month ago from now to where masks weren't okay then, but they are okay now? And, and it, it's clear that there's actually guidelines on how to make your own masks too. So to me, if that would have been the first recommendation, okay, everyone either find a mask and obviously they were gonna sell out, or here's how you can make your own mask available to yourself. And you can wash it and do whatever this is how you keep the proper hygiene i think that would have saved a lot of of, of the of these um protocols from happening i heard on a news channel that um if 80 percent of a population wears a mask it will pre do, effectively do the same thing as staying home so or at least flattening the curve as staying home um so that was another thing and i, I wanted to share that kind of like a month ago things have basically flipped 180 about recommendations and um, guidelines. Uh, okay, so I wanted to explain kind of how you can not wear a mask and still be conscious of um, or be health conscious when you're out and about shopping. Um, just to kind of share with you my thoughts on or to kind of ease your mind, if, if you will, about non-mask non wearing people. Um, and so here's what it was, is the, I think the whole premises of being safe is not touching your face or not in getting the virus in you, basically. Um, and so I think what they started recommending at the beginning, which was don't touch your face, right? Wash your hands every chance you get, meaning before you leave the house, wash your hands. When you get out of your car, hand sanitize. When you get in the store, and after you, you're done touching everything, hand sanitize. When you bag your groceries, if you do self-checkout, hand sanitize after that. When you get back in your car, hand sanitize. Or do whatever you gotta do. Um, and as long as you're not touching your face, that's effective, from what I understand. So, and yes, I, I completely understand that by not wearing a mask, when I'm talking, like right now I'm probably projecting whatever's in my body onto my computer screen. Or if I'm in the store and I went shopping um, and I'm standing close to the products, I'm probably spreading my germs or whatever over everything. But the one thing that can stop that from happening is one, social distancing, which mask or not mask we can do, um, and letting the particles settle like they've talked about. And yes, I may go pick it up from, and someone else might have just breathed on it. But if I don't touch my face and I don't hold it close to my face, and I wash my hands as soon as I can, the mask didn't really matter. Now I understand people are saying, well, if you can wear a mask, wear a mask, blah, blah, blah. That's not the point. It's about individual choices and freedoms. 
I can stand here and you have the choice to stand next to me or not. But if I stand here and I am forced to wear a mask, I don't have a choice or you don't have a choice either. So it's kind of like that weird kind of individual freedom thing I, I like to talk about. Um, so that was kind of the example I wanted to give. Maybe it wasn't the best explanation, but I wanted to share how um, or shine a light on that. Just because you're wearing a mask doesn't mean it's 100% effective. And just because you're not wearing a mask doesn't mean it's 100% ineffective. If that makes sense. Because if you're wearing a mask and you're touching your face all the time and you're not washing your hands, it's kind of like, okay, what's the point? So I think the washing the hands thing and not touching your face is, seems to be the best way to do it. Um, of course, if you want to wear a mask, you can. And you, you should if you feel more comfortable doing it. But I personally don't feel comfortable wearing a mask and I don't think it's necessary for me and I don't think it's necessary for everyone else I'll be completely honest but I, I know it's kind of one of those things that makes people feel more comfortable as well um, and I should be able to decide that because this is America and we have individual freedoms <laughs> so that was one thing I wanted to say and um, I want to wrap up by saying I don't believe that we can live life calling everyone who choose to live their lives differently than you a monster or the enemy or whatever um, because it's it's not we don't judge someone entirely based on one action unless it's the only encounter we have with them so I know if someone's in the comment scene seeing that I'm saying oh I don't wear a mask I don't think anyone should have to if that's our first impression me obviously if their if their thoughts align with wearing a mask it means you care for others and not wearing a mask means you don't they're gonna think that's that's what I'm about, but I wanted to come on here and explain kind of my reasoning on why I don't wear one. And it, if I didn't feel comfortable wearing a mask and it was literally black and white, meaning wear a mask, you care for people, wear, don't wear a mask, you want them to die. But it's not like that. So that's so why I wanted to come on here and give a little bit more of an explanation. I know it's like 10, 12 minutes, but um, I think it's worth it. So thank you so much for taking the time to listen. And if I missed anything or if you, have a different take on it or you think maybe i'm completely off my rocker <laughs> let me know and i will happily consider your comments but until then i um, can't wait to see you very soon goodbye